What is good? Fuck. Good. <laughs> Everyone. Shoobs here. <laughs> this is some scum. <laughs> <laughs> Before the video starts, I want to say that Canon Key sent these switches over for an honest review, and I am an affiliate of Canon Key, so you can use the link down below on any purchases made there, including group buys to help me out. What is good everyone, Shoops here. Today, we will be taking a look at these delectable switches, the Neapolitan ice creams. So some info on these switches, these are a new tactile switch from Canon Keys manufactured by the ever so popular up and coming switch manufacturer Texi. Texi has been killing it lately and honestly I'm happy to see more switches made by them because JWKs have been dominating the market for a while now and the Texi switches I have checked out so far are honestly pretty solid. The switch has a full polycarbonate housing and a long boy palm stem. It also features a long boy 63.5 gram two stage spring. These switches were made in order to mimic the feel of Zyko's, which is a expensive as hell Franken switch, and features CK's uh, exclusive molds for the bottom to mimic that feel. For those that don't know what a Franken switch and Franken switching is, is the deranged act of taking different parts of separate switches in order to create a new switch. The Zykos in particular is made using the top of a panda switch, a halo stem, and a bottom of a tactile zeal switch. This combination makes Zykos a extremely tactile, loud, deep, and unique switch, but with the cost of one switch being around $2, which is actually crazy if you think about it. That means in order to fill a TKL which requires say 87 switches, you're looking to spend at least $175 for these switches alone. With $175, you can legit buy a GMK set, a good entry board, a decent waifu figure, or some multis in a gacha game. All I gotta say is that Franken switching is not for the faint of heart or the wallet and is a deep and dark rabbit hole of its own which I am also stuck in. Please send help, it's cold and musty down here, please! We'll be comparing the Neapolitan switches to the popular tactile switches in the market right now. The Zykos, Bikos, uh, Holy Pandas, uh, Holy Bobas, Zilioses, Boba u 4 ts Moyu Blacks, uh, Kiwis, T1s, Blueberries, the Ocean Blues, uh, Browns, Ergo Clears, and the uh, Blue Velvets. Taking a look at the stems of these tactile switches, you can see that the Neapolitan stems are one of the long boys. It's actually uh, longer than even Halo uh, Halo stems by a little bit. Um, so this will have that signature hard hitting and faster bottoming out feel. Welcome again to another scuffed stem wobble test. Again, this is not very accurate, it's just very scuffed. There's also switch variance in the variability of these switches, but uh, I'm just gonna go through it quickly. The Neapolitans, up down, a little wobble, left to right, really no wobble there. Uh, Holy Boba is really tight, Boba U4T is really tight, uh, Holy Panda is really tight. Zykos, a little bit on the up down, uh, pretty tight on the left right. Um, Bikos, very very tight. Kiwis, bit of wobble up down and left right. Moyu Blacks, a little bit of wobble. Ergo Clears, a, a noticeable amount of wobble. Uh, as well as the Browns, the Zelioses, up down, a little wobble, left to right, a little wobble as well. T1s, a bit of wobble all throughout. Blueberries are pretty tight. The matcha oceans have a bit of wobble up down and left right. And the blue velvets have a little bit of wobble up down and a little less wobble left to right. But again, not very accurate just to show you guys the wobble on my uh, current switches that I have on hand. Before we start the sound tests, uh, please keep in mind that everyone's room acoustics, room setup, desk mats, all that 
uh, room acoustics lubing technique and everything is different so take this with a grain of salt we have a lot of switches to look at uh, first will be stock and second will be lubed and then followed up with a sound test of neapolitans oh uh, uh, filming sound tests are such a pain in the ass no
I just want to note that whatever I say here is of my own opinion and my own experience with the switches on hand. Your experience and your opinions might differ, but that's the beauty of the hobby, so yeah. So in terms of the tactility for the Neapolitan ice creams, these are a very very tactile switch. It is in line with all the other uh, tactile like super strong tactile switches such as the Moyu Blacks, Holy Panda, Zelioses, and of course the Zykos. Um, it's even more, I feel like, a little bit more tactile than the Boba U4Ts as well, putting him, putting the switch in line with Moyu Blacks, Holy Bobas, and whatnot. It is slightly, slightly less tactile than Zykos, I feel, but it's very, very close, and the overall tactile bump and the way it bottoms out is very similar to the Halo stem. Uh, Franken switches such as the Zyko's Holy Pandas and Holy Bobas with that signature and loud bottom out and the faster bottom out as well. So in terms of the sound profile of these Neapolitan ice cream switches, I found that they are compared to the uh, Biko's, Zyko's, the Holy Bobas and the Holy Pandas and whatnot, uh, the sound profile is a bit higher pitched than these, but uh, it is pretty deep nonetheless and um, uh, I don't know, it's just preference. Some might actually prefer the sound of these switches over the Zykos, but uh, that is what I found the sound to be a little bit higher pitched than the Zykos itself. Now comes the overall question of whether or not these Neapolitan ice creams achieve the goal that they were created to achieve, which is to be a alternative to the Zykos, the very expensive <laughs> Zykos Franken switch. And surprisingly enough, it is very, very close. The sound is slightly different. It is on the higher pitched end compared to the Zykos, in my opinion. But the tactility is near identical, just slightly less tactile or less strong, in my opinion. But it, the type of tactility it has and the f fast bottoming out and that signature sort of sound is still there and it is honestly very very close and the price difference this one is two dollars and ten cents to make and this right here is around 77 cents it's like so it's, it's obviously a no-brainer honestly if someone was to say oh i really like uh, zykos i would automatically recommend this switch if they were looking for that exact feel um However, if you really, really, really want that sound of the Zykos, that sort of deeper end sound, deeper pitched sound, I mean, uh, I, I still can't recommend you spending $2 per switch to make a, to make a Franken switch like this. It's like, who in their right mind can recommend that to someone, but it is all up to your jurisdiction whether or not that's worth it or not, but in a purely you know, economical standpoint, which is a stupid ass statement in this godforsaken hobby. <laughs> but in that sort of viewpoint, these are just an, these just wins win all around. There's there's just no denying it. There's no universe where this is worth it compared to this new budget alternative. Anyways, guys, like always, thank you for checking out the video and watching till the end. Be sure to like the video and comment for the algorithm because my life is dictated by the algorithm but anyways thank you so much for all the support we're almost at 40k which is absolutely crazy uh more video and content on the way soon and i'll catch you guys in the next one